That was fun. Okay. Let's do this. Guess what we're going to do today? Uh, I get to destroy something today. Today we are saying goodbye to an old friend. Not just yet. Hold on. <laughs> this was my uh, first uh, acoustic electric. It actually died of a broken neck a long time ago. I'm going to scrap it for the electronics and tuners. So it's going to be an organ donor. We're going to scrap his old lady, but first I get to probe her. That's right. I've got to actually see where all the wiring is on the inside of this thing because I want to, uh, you know, save the electronics and tackle if I can. Tell you what, go ahead and pop those strings. Oh, not yet. Yeah, let's get those strings I was excited out. for probing. Yeah. Well, we got to get these out of the way real quick. Okay. Am I cutting it just or? Just cut I'm not cut worried about the uh, heavy problem that you can probe stuff. <laughs> That's so satisfying. Did I get you with that last one? <laughs> I just double check. Now I get to pro? Yeah. Alright. Sure. Just take a look. Left or right? I got a feeling everything's gonna be over here up on this it side. Right there. There it is. Okay, so what are we looking for? Here. Okay, this is okay, it's got a little box behind it. Plugged in. Do a patient go. Get to up. Okay. Wait a little further, try to come like right up underneath here. Okay, so Ah, rich buddy. This looks like, ooh, where's that wire go? Right there. That's behind here. Now that's... Here, would you like to use the camera? Yeah, let's take a look. Give her a, one last good probing. Yeah. <laughs> Say goodbye to the old lady. <laughs> Hold it for you. Look, we can tell. Just the bracing. There we go. That. That's not what I was expecting to see. Hmm. I'm not sure what that is exactly yet. That almost that something plugged in. It looks like some kind of a maybe a solid fitting. The ground wire. Well, see, that's supposed to be the piezo pickup underneath the saddle. I see a hot wire, ground wire, and then another wire. I'm not mm. sure what that is. So, okay. I just want to know we're not to hurt. Maybe we have to take her from the back. <laughs> Flip her over and give her a good penetration yeah, from might, behind. That be what we need to do. <laughs> there we go. Oh, oh, oh. God, that's sick of solid welding. Ooh. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Okay. Is let's just cut like right here. Okay. And just figure out how to start getting this top off. It's like all the meat of everything you want. Right there, yeah. Turn the horse scope off. So I don't get to smash her to pieces. Yeah, well, you may need to get to open. So. I'll hold on to this then. So there's still a chance I get to yeah, smash your old yeah. lady. All right. <laughs> you know I love power yeah, tools. Go. All right, so I gotta go from the from the hole, split her open.
just nervous. Try to go to like right there. To I the edge. I think we're safe and I think we can maybe fill that up. I'm not getting through that edge. <laughs> Bad girl. Sorry to assume gender. Oh, that's sad. Is it hurting your ears? Ooh, that was fun. We got wires attached to the bottom, so. Pretty good guess. We were close to that though. Woo! Okay, let's, let's turn it this way. Let's do this real quick. Flip her over one more time. Let's My wrench is too. Oh, I might have one right here. Oh, it's not a 12. Jeez, ovation. Gosh, my hole, my hole is not right. Can't get the fucking wrench out. That's a little bumper pad where I had it hanging in the wall so it wouldn't bounce off the wall. Okay. Oh, okay, so I'm going to have to dig the, pie the piezo, uh, piezo out of this somehow. This is good. I'm going to have to pry it. It's underneath here. I was really curious about how it was constructed. We're probably going to want. I don't know. See if you got the if you got those the right tools. But let's do this. Do the clip. That's a nice little clip in here. And there we go. That's the. Ah. That's what I was looking to do right there. Oh, that's all I came with. Okay. So now. The wires. Just make sure you don't go too deep. There's a joke in there somewhere. Make sure I don't go too deep. That's usually not what she says. You might could actually just start right here, just mm -hmm. to make it easy. You gotta hold it though. ABS plastic. I don't know what kind of plastic that is. Okay. So I will work on at a time where I can take my time and not go Hulk smash and figure out how to get this mess out of here. It was fun to Hulk smash yeah. your, your old lady. <laughs> oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. Just gotta... I don't know. That's one of them. I got to look at it carefully. But this, this is the important part right here, here, and then digging out that pickup. This guy. Okay. Get the trash can.
Are we uh, taking out any of these other parts off of here? Yeah, we're going to take the tuners off the back. The full screwdriver should get us there. And let me get the scalpel. Do you mind unplugging the scalpel for me? Of course. Thank you. Here's these. Made in Indonesia. Yeah. They're glued. Leave those on there. Those might be useful. Where do you want me to put the tiny screws? Do you have a bag? Yeah. Always have bags, guys. All right, always have bags. And then once you put the screws in the bag, label what the hell they came off of because you're going to forget. Yep. <laughs> we'll talk a little later. Oh, part of the string is holding me up there. Oh, still on there. Okay, yeah. There we go. There we go. I was curious how they did that with the piezo the back of the That's pretty much how I put them in, so I guess I was doing it right. Nice. Yeah, but the bridge is also still screwed down, so it's going to take some work. Mm -hmm. Let's grab that, and all right, nothing I can save here. Sorry, honey. You're going to make some kid in the neighborhood very curious while you're in the trash. Mm hmm. Just gonna label this old lady parts. Old lady parts. Hope I won't put them in the other drawer of old lady parts. Okay. Well, that didn't work. All right. It's old, old ladies on there. You'll know what it means. Yeah. 
and put this over in my used parts pile. Be sure to head over to our Patreon page to check out bloopers and more content that we could not put on YouTube. And like and subscribe. Restlessness to hell and back. What's my purpose? What do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack. And sometimes you just gotta believe there's something that'll give you relief. There's something that'll have what you need. What you need. We're broken, it's tragic. We're not all elastic, but maybe there's magic. Believe you could have it. I want to keep this head stock. They want to make a template out of it. Okay, now that the chaos of the shop is out of the way and all the destruction, I got all the uh, giblets cleaned up from the uh, guitar. All right, so I took the uh, strap off, separated the um, jack from the rest of the electronics here. Bag it up. Took the headstock off. Figured, you know what? Probably might want to make a template out of this. Surprising. It is actually wood all the way through the neck. I thought it was going to be a lot more plasticky, but it's not. It's wood. Uh, I got to get a pair of pliers. Battery box. <clears throat> now, the, this is the real reason I was interested in this whole thing. This electronics box, it's metal. This is one of the beefiest sound systems I've seen that I've ever pulled out. All I know is it sounds great, or it sounded great. So it's going to get repurposed somewhere else. Now for the piezo. Piezo. I'll take the bridge off. Let's see how this thing is built. Oh. This is quite delicate. Okay. Trash can. That's how it's built. It's a little different. Usually the ones I get aftermarket are encased in plastic. I always wondered if the plastic or a little rubber enclosure around them had something to do with making the sound not as good as this one is. But I got a feeling that's probably why the sound is so crisp. That's just bare. Let me see if I can find another one for comparison real quick. This is an aftermarket sound amp, uh, preamp pickup for a piezo. But yeah, this is typical right here this is actually for a violin so it's gonna look a little different this typical how guitar ones are is they've got this rubberized coating over it this though bare so this has got to be one of the secrets to why these sound so good all right this will definitely get used in uh, some kind of a custom build at some point and i'll refer back to this video so we all remember where it came from <laughs> 